everyone, my name is Atemba and I'm an English teacher here at GNIEC. Today I'm with my assistant, Minnie. Hi, I'm Minnie and I'll be helping Mrs. Tumbe today. So today we're going to show you three fun science experiments. The first science experiment will teach you about static electricity. The second one will teach you about sound waves and amplifiers. And the last one will teach you about acids. You can do these experiments really easily using things that you can find in your home. And you can do them with your parents, your siblings, or your friends. Are you ready to start? Yes. All right, let's get started. The first experiment is about static electricity. Do you know what static electricity is? No, what is it? Well, static means it doesn't move. So static electricity means electricity that does not move. For this experiment, you'll need balloons, empty soda cans, and some tissue. Step one, take your can and lay it down on its side. Next, take your balloon and you can rub it against your hair or your clothes or any kind of cloth. So we're going to use our scarves. Rub the balloon against the material. Now, Minnie. <laughs> do you have enough? Okay. What do you think will happen when we put it near the can? I don't know. Let's see. Take your balloon and put it close to the can, but don't touch it. Just put it close. Okay, ready? Wow, it moved! So we saw that the balloons made the cans move. Let's see what the balloons can do with tissue. Take some tissue. Oh. <laughs> Take some tissue and rip it into a few small pieces. Now take your balloon and rub it again. And hold it near the tissue. Wow. What do you see, Minnie? The tissue is floating. That's right. The tissue is attracted to the balloon. The tissue pieces were attracted to the balloon. Attracted means to pull something closer to you. The opposite of attract is repel. Repel means to push something away. So how does all of this work? Well, every object has small particles called atoms. Atoms have two parts, a positive charge called protons and a negative charge called electrons. When we rub the balloon on our clothes or on our hair, the number of electrons on the balloon increases. This causes static electricity. Can you guess why the tissue in the cans were attracted to the balloon? No, why? Well, now that the balloon has many electrons, it has more electrons than the tissue or the soda can they have more protons. Protons and electrons attract. That's cool. <laughs> okay, so that is how static electricity works. Do you remember what static means? To not be moving. Right, static means something isn't moving. Let's go to experiment number two. Okay, now it's time for experiment number two we'll be learning about sound waves and amplifiers. This experiment, you'll need some plastic cups, some yarn or string, some paper clips, napkins or paper towels, water, and thumbtacks. 
First, take your cup and take your thumbtack or nail. This is very sharp, so please ask your parents to help you. With the thumbtack, poke a hole into the cup. When you poke the hole, it should look like this. Now put the thumbtack away. And the next thing you'll need is your string. I'll take pink. Take your string and tie it to the middle of your paper clip. After you've tied the string to the paper clip, pull the other end through the hole in your cup. Now your cup should look like this. Next, take a napkin or paper towel and make sure it is folded a few times like this. Then you'll need some water and you'll need to make your paper towel a little damp. Damp means make it a little wet, but not too wet. Now we will use the paper towel to pull on the string. Minnie, what do you think will happen when we pull on the string with the damp paper towel? I don't know, what? Let's find out. Take your cup and your damp paper towel, wrap it around the string and pull the paper towel with short, quick motions. What do you think will happen if we don't use the paper towel and just use our fingers? I don't know. Let's see. It gets louder. Just like that. So cool. Do you know how all of this works? No. I'll explain. When we pull on the string, the string vibrates. Vibrates means it moves and shakes very quickly. Because we have a cup, the sound of the string is amplified. To amplify means to make something louder. If we didn't have the cup, then we wouldn't be able to hear the string. Let's try it. Use your paper towel and pull on the string without the cup. Can you hear anything? That's right, there's no amplifier. But when we use the cup, the cup acts as the amplifier. The cup also acts as a sounding board. A sounding board is something that helps to amplify noise. Many instruments you know have sounding boards too, like pianos. So that is how sound and amplifiers can work using everyday things in your house. Let's go to the next experiment. Now we will do our final experiment. This experiment will teach you about different acids. Minnie, did you know you can clean your dirty coins at home? No. Well, we'll find out how to do that today. You can use different liquids that are easily found in your house. The first liquid you'll need is vinegar, hand sanitizer, detergent, toothpaste, soda, and some water. For this experiment, you'll also need a little bit of salt, and finally, your old or dirty coins. So to start, pour all of the liquids in the cups and mix them with a little bit of water. For the vinegar, you'll want to add the salt as well. Before we start this experiment, make sure to put on your safety gloves because we'll be dealing with a few acids today. Minnie, which one do you think will clean the coins the best? The soda. The soda? I think it might be the hand sanitizer. Let's find out. Pour each ingredient into the cup and add some water. For the vinegar, you'll want to add the salt. All of it? <laughs> yes, everything. <laughs> Be 
because the toothpaste and detergent and sanitizer are a little thicker, we'll add water to those. I'll add this to the detergent. Now let's stir the liquids together. Okay, let's take the sticks out. Okay, now we can add our dirty coins to each cup. Okay, first I'll add the coins to the sprites, then to the toothpaste, then the detergent, and Minnie will add the coins to the hand sanitizer and to the vinegar and salt. Now we have to wait for about five minutes and see what happens next. Well, Minnie, five minutes has passed. So let's see how our coins look now. Let's take the coins out of the vinegar first. After you take out the coins, you should rinse it in some water in your sink, but we don't have a sink, so we'll just use a bottle of water in the bowl. It's so clean. Maybe it will be the cleanest one, maybe it won't. Let's keep looking at the others. Let's take the coin out of the hand sanitizer. And now the detergents. Okay, we'll wash it. And next is the toothpaste. <laughs> Does your toothpaste penny look like this? <laughs> Let's wash it off. Okay. And finally, the soda. Okay, we have tried out all of the liquids and we have tried to clean all of the coins. Which one is the cleanest? The vinegar and salt. Yeah, the vinegar and salt coin is the cleanest one. Do you know why the vinegar worked the best? No, why? It's because vinegar is an acid. When you add salt to an acid, they react. If you put in the dirty coin, the vinegar and salt together will remove copper oxide. That is what makes your coins dirty. So as you can see, using a liquid with vinegar in it and adding a little bit of salt can help to easily clean your dirty coins at home. Today we did three great science experiments that you can do at home with your family or with your friends. The first experiment we did today showed us about static electricity. Do you remember what static means? It means to not move. Yes, good memory. <laughs> static means it doesn't move. The second experiment we did was about sound waves and amplifiers. Do you remember what amplifiers are? They make noise bigger and louder. Yes, anything that can make a noise bigger and louder. In our final experiment, we learned about acids and we saw that when you mix an acid with salt, it can help clean the dirt off of your coins. Do you remember what the dirt on coins are called? 
They're called copper oxide. Yeah, they're called copper oxide. These are all fun experiments you can do at home, and I hope you enjoy doing them together with your family and friends. Which one was your favorite? When you finish doing them, take a picture or even a video and share it with us on our Instagram, and you can hashtag GNIEC or GNIEC Funglish. If you enjoyed the video, then like and subscribe to our channel because we will have more activities for you in the future. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.